Hey, what's going on? It's your boy, Antonio Johnson. And I'm excited uh, about this particular one because this is important. Uh, it's the eight great working habits. The eight great working habits. I'm going to run through them, but they are important. The best thing to do if you intend to do great in sales and marketing is always check yourself against these eight great working habits. Because if you are dropping the ball on even one of these, you lose. You will not do well in, in, in selling and marketing. All right. The first one is have a great attitude. That's right. You got to have a great attitude because selling and marketing is 90% attitude, 10% uh, ability. It doesn't matter how great you are in your skill set. If your attitude is messed up, you lose. And attitude is everything. It means if you go home to people who make you feel bad, if you're arguing a lot, if you're arguing through your text message, um, if you're not getting along with somebody on your job, all of that affects the attitude, okay? If you're sick and, you, and you're trying to pretend that you're not, all of that affects your attitude, okay? So please understand, have a great attitude. That means you got to work on that. Having a great attitude is a practice skill set. Number two, be on time. Did you hear that? Be on time. Like, get to work. If you're supposed to be there at 8 o'clock, you need to get there at 745. If you're on time, you're late. Okay? That's the truth. Don't show up right at the exact time. That means you're not trying to get better. Like, yesterday when you were marketing and selling, you didn't hit a home run every every single person that you uh, attempted to uh, five-step to a conversation. So, you ought to come in knowing you need to get in early so you can start working and practicing on some stuff all right uh number three be prepared right you got to prepare for the nose mentally and then you got to be prepared physically right you got to eat a good breakfast did you eat breakfast this, this morning okay you got to eat a good breakfast you got to get your notepad your notes because you got to take notes where's your tpc chart have you been using your TPC chart? We need to see it. If you don't have that TPC chart, what's going on? You have your pencil, your markers, your pens, everything that you need, comfortable shoes because you're standing in the store a lot, huh? Your manual, your notes, your conference calls. Come on. You got to be prepared, all right? If you're always forgetting stuff, hey, you're not going to make it. Be prepared. Number four, work a full scheduled shift. Listen, the laws of average play out because you're working the whole time. You can't half work a shift, work two hours, and then quit working the last four or five hours. You you see, you got to work the full shift, shift so that your so your LOAs can work out. All right, you either work your full shift or until you reach your goals. If your goal was to get um, 15 X's or whatever, however you set your goals to be what you're going to do. I don't make production goals. I don't say I want to sell 13 pieces. I, I go, how many presentations am I going to do? Is I can't control, uh, the yes, but I can control how many presentations I'll do. Okay. Number five, maximize territory. Talk to everybody. Okay. Talk to everybody. That's important. If you're not talking to everybody, don't be cherry picking. It's not going to help you. You can't get there that way. Uh, number six, protect your attitude. It is human to lose your attitude. But what matters is how quick you regain it. And the best way to regain it, call a leader. Call your manager. Get on that phone quick so they can get your head back in the game. Because that's what matters the most. If you don't make that call when you're losing, because matter of fact, most of the time you lost your attitude by the time you admit it to yourself, it's been gone for two hours, okay? Uh, number seven, know why you're here. Know where you're going. Know why you're here. Know where you're going. And hang out with the people who are where you want to be. Listen, it doesn't take a rocket science to realize who's doing the biggest job. You need to hang out with them. You need to be bugging them. You need to be trying to have dinner with them. You need to be calling them every day, like begging them for time because you need to steal from them. You need to copy, cheat, and steal what they do. That's just what it is. You can't grow if you think like an employee. An employee don't want to move because they're scared that the boss going to get mad. Listen, have some balls. Go do something. Like find out who can help you. Number eight take control all right taking control is difficult for people 
because they think they think it's rude. Taking control is of your life. Right. You take control by setting goals, 30, 60, 90 day goals, plan your day out, take control of the situation, bad customers. Right. Flat tires. Your family didn't act right. You can't let that stop you. You got to take control of the situation. You got to have a plan B, C, D and E. You you still got to go in that store and accomplish your goals so that you can grow and get better. You want to take advantage of your life. These are the eight great working habits. Without them, you will not succeed. This is how you get to the top. Know where you stand. If you can't say a 10 by each one of them, then you need to work on it. All right. That's the truth. That's all I got. That's it. Eight great working habits.